Hello there and thanks for joining me at my bench once again. Yeah, in this tutorial I'm just going to show you a, a few uh, tips on uh, spinning deer here. And I'm going to show you how I spin it and also how to stack deer here so you can get multiple colors like if you want to tie a, a bass bug and whatnot. First I'll show you just the basics for spinning deer here. And I'm going to use white here for the demonstration. So the first thing I'll do, so this I'm just going to show you how I spin it if I was making a, a bug uh, all one color. I'll just snip out a, a bunch like so here. And the one thing is you always want to try to get the under fur out of the hair. Just comb it out. Because if you get all that fur out of it, it'll spin much, much, much better for you. So get all that out I can. And I'll snip the uh, tips off of it here. Now. So what I do is just place that here on top of the shank like so. And I'm going to come up around with one wrap, tighten a little bit. Second wrap, tighten a little bit more. Third wrap, pull down tight, release. And that here will spin around the shank. Nice and evenly here. I'm just going to take my needle and catch those hairs underneath there. Pull them out and then just make a couple more wraps ahead. One, two, and, and pull straight down nice and tight. Then I would just pull that hair back, bring my thread up through, and make a couple wraps. Once again, take another section of white. Same deal. Same, put the same amount of hair each time. Comb the uh, under fur out of that and the loose hair. Just run my comb through it there, just like so. And snip off the tips once again. And then we'll do the same thing again. Place it on top. Make one wrap. Pull a little bit. A little bit tighter. Then the third wrap. Pull nice and tight. And just let it spin around the hook. Just like so. And you can always take your needle and go through. If you think you have any trapped hairs there. Just like so. Make one more wrap. Then I'll pull that all back. And if I was tying the bug, I would take my hair packer, and you can also, if you want to pack it in nice and tight, just take a hair packer and pull it back, just like so. Okay, and I'll tie one more clump on here, then I'll trim it just to show you. I'm not going to tie a whole bug or anything, I'm just, just, just going to show you how to do it. Just a demonstration video here. And comb that under for out of that bunch. Any loose hairs, snip off the tips, and I'll spin this guy right in front, same way. Couple wraps, third wrap, let it spin around, and make one more, two more wraps, pull straight down. Then I'll wrap in front. Then I'm just going to tie this guy off real quick here. Nothing fancy, just a little half hitch here. Or excuse me, whip finish. Okay, now I'll cut that thread here. Okay, now I'll trim that just to show you how I would trim it. Just say I was tying a popper. I just just want to show you how it looks once you trim it. And just trim straight down like so. Both sides and like so here. Just to give me the gist of how to spin deer here. And this applies for like if you were spinning a, uh, like a hopper head or a muddler head as well. Anyway, right there you can get the gist of it. You can see how it looks when I trim it. It's nice, fairly well tightly packed. I could have packed it a lot tighter if I was tying a bass popper. I would have, but... I just wanted to show you how to spin it on the shank more or less and it's on there nice and tight it won't it won't turn or spin on the shank so anyway that's one one little uh, demonstration there how to just spin it now I'm going to show you the next one here I'm going to show you how to uh, stack different colored deer here so I'll put another hook in the vise here and I'll get that locked in place Start my thread on the hook here. 
just like so. Okay. Now. Alrighty, now for stacking deer here, we're going to start the same way. I'm going to cut another section of white. Just like so here. And I'm going to comb out all the uh, under fur out. Excuse me there, I just dropped my comb there for combing the hair out. Then I'm going to comb this hair out as well. The under fur out. Now, difference being in this method, what I'm going to do, I want this section of hair just on the bottom of the hook. So what you do is place it on top. And I'm going to make a couple wraps here, just like so. And on the third wrap, I'm going to let that go down around. Let the thread carry it, then place your thumb right on top, like so, and then pull straight down. And that will keep nice and tight, then come up through. Another wrap, same thing, pull it down nice and tight. And as you can see, that kept that section right on the bottom of the hook. And that's what I want it right there. Then what I'll do is stack the next section on top of that. So I'll cut another section of white here. With the same amount. And I'll comb the uh, under fur out here. That cleaned out best I can. Okay, I'm gonna snip the tips off once again, and this time we'll just simply place that right on top. Come up through with your thread down around here, pull down one more wrap, then I'll just place my thumb on top, pull straight down just like so. And that places that section right on the top. And that's stacking deer here instead of spinning it. Okay, there we have it. That's stacking deer. Now, to make multicolors, what you do, I'll just take my needle and divide that on top there. Now, let's just say I'll grab a little bit of uh, green here, some green deer here. And I'm going to take a section, a small section of green. Trim that out. Get the underfair out and whatnot here. Loose hairs. Trim that. And what I'll do is place that right on top of the white. Same thing, come up around. I'll pull straight down. Come through twice. Hold your underneath and then your thumb on top of that green and pull straight down. Just like so. I'll bring another wrap up through, same deal, pull straight down, and there's our green on the top. Now I'm going to put one more color on, and that's a little, I want a little orange spot right on top of the green, so I'm going to divide that once again. Just so you got a little spot there on top, just divide the hair to place the orange, just like so. And we'll sm cut a small piece of orange out here. I just want a little orange dot on the top of that, so that when I trim it, you'll see what I mean here. Okay, get the under fur out. I'm going to trim that orange. I don't want very much orange, just a small amount. Okay. Now I'm going to place that right on top of the green. Come up through with the thread here. Down. One more. Down. And this time, take your thumb and forefinger and hold up, push against the sides, and pull straight down. Nice and tight. Uh, I should mention that I'm using a, a nano silk thread here, 200 denier. You want to use a nice strong thread for spinning bugs. Pull straight down. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just wiggle my thread up through that hair. Just like so here. Bring it in front of the hair. And I'm going to make two or three wraps nice and close in front of there. Just like so. And normally I would tie a half hitch in there. Just like so. Nice and tight. And if I was tying a bug, I would keep going ahead and do that same process again until I filled the shank and then trim the bug. But for now, I'm just going to trim this guy here. Show you. Cut the thread first. Then I'll trim this hair to show you how it looks with the uh, 
colors on it here. How you get the effect of your multicolors on a bass bug. And you can tie so many different colorations and you can even add a fourth color if you want it to. Stripes, spots on the side as well you can. Doing that method, stacking deer here. Let's trim it a little more here. And you can see how the effect that it gives it there. Got the white, the green, and then the orange circle in the middle. And uh, Anyhow, I won't go through the process of cutting this all down. I just wanted to show you the difference between spinning and stacking deer here. And I hope that helps you a little. If you want to tie yourself up some bass bugs and whatnot. Hopefully that will help. There we go. Anyhow, that's the gist of stacking deer here. Okay. There we have it. So that's the difference between stacking and spinning. And one more thing I want to show you here. Just bear with me. I'm going to grab one more hook. Now this is just the process of how I go about spinning my collars and head on a muddler. Now, say for instance I already had the uh, tail, body and wing and everything on. So I'll place my thread about where I would be in that case. I'll tie that thread on there. Okay, just going to trim that. Okay. Now I'll cut it some natural deer here, here and I'm going to cut a chunk out. Fairly good sized chunk because this is quite a big hook here. Just for the demonstration. Now I'm definitely going to get the under fur out of this. You'll find sometimes that the natural hair right off the hide has a lot of under fur on it. You want to get that all out if you can. Okay. Now I usually would have put that in the stacker but this time I'm not. I'm just going to show you how I go about it. Now, what I say about spinning my muddler head, I would just come up around like so. Pretty much the same deal as on the boat. Let it spin around, tighten down. Just got these hairs are long, so they just caught there around the shank. I'll just move those. And I usually only ever spin one section of deer hair for my collar in my head. Then I'll just wrap that all forward. And let's say I was at the end. Then I would just. Uh, do a whip finish here, just like so. Okay, snug that down. And that's how I spin my collar and heads on my muddlers. Then, I don't usually use a razor for muddlers, I just come in with my scissors and trim the head up on them, just like so. Just go around the whole fly here. Just like so. Then you get the gist of it there. You can see the sh the uh, muddler, the shape of the muddler head and whatnot. And the collar all the way around. And that can be used, that method, for any size muddler. Small, large, medium. So that's how I do a muddler collar and head. In one step, just one section of deer here. So there's three methods of spinning deer here. First, the uh, just spinning it for a bug, and then stacking deer hair, stacking up different colors. So I hope these uh, three uh, steps here can help you a little bit if you're having struggling with spinning deer hair or not. And uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to consider subscribing, go ahead. I appreciate that a great deal. Until next time, everyone. Uh, happy tying. I'll see you all again soon. Stay safe and so long for now, folks.